The ability to create columns in Notion is one of my favorite features about it. I think it can help make your notes way more efficient, but the issue is that sometimes the columns become misaligned. Let's say you have definitions in one column and example questions in the other, so you have to make sure that everything is spaced in a way that the right material is together. If you go back in the column to add more notes, it will throw everything off. To get around this, you'll create your columns as usual. A huge tip is to highlight the blocks a certain color so that it's easier to see where everything is placed. Next, you'll take another block and drag it down towards the bottom so that it will go all the way across the screen like a normal block. This is your buffer. Now you can create more blocks and drag them beneath the buffer block, and this will ensure that your columns will stay uniform. Scrolling through a page of notes to find exactly what you need can be really time consuming, so instead I like to create a table of contents at the top of the page. Basically you just need to create a list of all the chapters and topics that you would like to refer back to. Go to the header of that section, right click and copy the link. Then scroll back up to the top where you keep your list and copy and paste it into the corresponding text. If you're a student or generally have to focus on things for a long period of time, there's a pretty good chance you've heard of a Pomodoro timer. Basically, Pomodoro timers have you focusing for a certain amount of time, it could be 25 to 45 minutes, and then you'll have a short break. I think this is the best way to study. You get a break, so you're more willing to put in the focus. You can actually embed a Pomodoro timer directly into your Notion pages. Just go to pomofocus.io, take the link at the top, and then you will embed this directly into your Notion page. Sometimes I wonder if I would have gotten this far in school if it weren't for Quizlet. Basically, Quizlet is a lifesaver and you probably use it if you're a student. I just want to stop here and say that you don't have to do this. You can just link to your Quizlet page here, but I'm really extra, so I'm going to actually embed Quizlet into my Notion page. So there's a company called Potion. I will leave a link to all of their information below, but they have a customizable HTML widget. So all you do is you embed this widget into your Notion page. You go back to Quizlet, click these three buttons and click embed, paste this into that widget. This will essentially allow you to access Quizlet study sets from your Notion page. So I hope this video helped you and gave you some ideas for taking the best notes possible. So I have a blog and online shop where you can buy different Notion templates at theplanningpanda.com. I will leave a link below. Um, please subscribe, let me know if you have any ideas for videos because I'd love to make them.